Good evening from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Wednesday. It's about 5.30. It's high 90s and I just got back from Russellville. Uh, just because the garage sale is over doesn't mean the work is done. So today I needed to go back in and box up everything that was left over. And then I took it over to a place called Marva. M-A-R-V-A. And it's a, uh, I think a domestic violence shelter. Uh, they have like a storefront where they sell all kinds of stuff and they you know I took it it was a, the entire bed of my truck was full and they unloaded it and so yeah get that garage sale in the past uh, let's see there were some books left over and I think my sister and relative took those books over someplace else so yeah that'll be it on the garage sale <laughs> And I snagged a few things um, that I think I might be useful here. Anyway, arms getting tired. I was lugging around heavy stuff all day. So let me show you something that I brought home with me. Hi, Bob. Did you miss me all day? No. <laughs> okay, that is a little refrigerator. Oh, yeah, that is going into my room. It was when we were shopping for air conditioners. Uh, we came across the, uh, you know, a scratch and dent and ding, but anyway, this is, uh, according to the manufacturing date, it was made in 2017, so it's only a year old. It's a little college dorm room fridge, but, uh, you know, the one that I have is not much bigger than that one, so this is going to be another very welcome addition. What I can do is keep this one in my bedroom, hopefully it's not too loud. And I can keep uh, water in there. So, like at night, every time I open my door, there are about five bugs that are, you know, just sitting on my door waiting for me to open it so they can come into my room. So, this will save me from having to, uh, you know, walk out into the mobile home and, and my refrigerator out there to, to grab a glass of water. It'll all be right in there. And I can always use more space for, well, like my sister bought me some muscadine jelly and I just I just don't have room for stuff like that that you know that's gonna be sitting in your fridge for two or three weeks until you get through it so now I can better uh, you know better take care of my food and drink needs also uh, my sister saw some like free wood at I think it was tractor supply or something but so yeah, I can uh, figure out. It looks like some one by threes and half by. I have no idea. I could use pallets, is what I needed. But yeah, that that stuff all. Uh, I'll find something else to use it for. But yeah, so just got home. I need to uh, take the fridge in my room, and you know I'm starting to live like a halfway normal human being these days. It's kind of nice. Sometimes I think they miss the truck more than me when I leave for the day. Is that a good napping spot there? Yeah? Bob? Now they're both climbing on stuff. Good morning from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Thursday. Uh, supposed to be low 90s today. So I'm getting some stuff done this morning. First up, there is a garden bed behind me where I planted zinnias a little while ago. There was a brush pile there until recently when I got hauled off to the brush fire. I planted zinnias there. Uh, most of them have sprouted, not all of them have though, so I am filling in the gaps with seeds today. Got to get it done. It's uh, July 10th, something. It's Thursday, I know that. <laughs> Alright, planting zinnias. Eh, quick view of the garden bed. This one hasn't fared so well. The ones that are growing are growing, so that's good. And then there's another garden bed back there. Those have more of them sprouted. Okay, getting busy. My first project is done in the shade as planned. And in these two beds are zinnias. Uh, 
just mixed leftover packets. Uh, I finished off both of these seed packet, uh, Giant Violet Queen and then uh, California Giant mixed colors. And that was, uh, it was the California Giants mixed colors that were already in there. So, yep. We'll see how they do. And now, now I want to fill some more empty spots with seeds. The next project I am working on, along this fencing here, I've got sunflowers that are growing good. To the right of the sunflowers, I planted a row of the Tithonia Mexican sunflower, and only a handful of those are growing. So I, while I've got uh, seeds left, I am going to plant that row out again. These are the Mexican sunflower Tithonia torch, so those are going to go to the right of the sunflowers. And then on the left side of this fence, I planted sunflowers and only a handful of those have sprouted. So I am going to, instead of planting more sunflowers, I was kind of hoping to plant some corn this year. So, early sun glow hybrid sweet corn. It's got a, a 63 days to harvest. So we'll see if, uh, well, we'll see if I can't throw a handful of corn seeds down there and get them to grow. I've also got some lazy sunflowers laying down there. Uh, first, I'm going to tie those up. good enough I got 22 places there with corn planted and then uh, let's see there were uh, 22 same number of new Tithonia that I planted and there are I don't know five or six that are still growing and the rest of these are sunflowers so all right that project is complete and we'll see what I do next. Well, I figured out what I'm gonna do next. Don't you hate it when your neighbor shows up with his tractor and big old claws? <laughs> yeah, it looks like we're moving some trees around. Oh look, another brush pile, just as big as the first one. <laughs> yeah, he came over with that claw thing. Picked up the trees, well, most of the trees that he could get, and uh, piled them up. Unfortunately, let me show you this. He also found some trash bags that were full of trash and that had been buried. So I've got trash spread out all over the place. Yep, here we go. And of course the trash bags have disintegrated so when you pick it up about a hundred things fall out. Um, just plastic and styrofoam plates, styrofoam cups, styrofoam everything. Unbelievable. And just buried it. I don't even know what to say. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to deal with that. In addition to the trash, I've already picked up half a bag full. Uh, we found two uh, T-posts, well, they were T-posts, and now they're kind of, uh, you know, curved posts. And some type of metal rod or bar, uh, two rims were in there, and that looks like uh, an old electric box. So those can go in the, in the metal pile. 
while he had the tractor out, he also brought the, that's going to be the brooder, brought that over here. And when I get the, see the current chicken runs right there, when I get the new fencing in, hopefully today, maybe tomorrow, I can extend the run out here and I'll put the, I'll put those right about in that area so that uh, they'll have nice shade most of the day and uh, the, yeah and then I can I can keep them separate if I want to but I uh, really don't need to for now okay it's lunch time and ice cream time and then nap time so don't know how much I'll get done the rest of the day I'm sure I'll have a little bit of energy left if I if I get a good nap in okay thanks everybody on the agenda this afternoon, I didn't get a nap in. The uh, tracking on my package says that my electric fence will be here today, so I don't want to fall asleep and miss it. So what I'm going to do out here, while it's cloudy and not quite so hot, is clear some of this brush for the, uh, this will be a future chicken run. And, um, yeah, so that's what I got to do afternoon. That's a little bit better. Now let me get this other section. That's completely different looking now. <laughs> oh, yeah, now I can, uh, that can be a section for my new chicken run. So, some nice shade and yeah, that'll work good enough. And I gotta, gotta slow it out for a minute here. I think that's enough action for one day. Uh, yeah, all of that was a uh, little uh, evergreen trees. I don't know my trees, folks. And brush and stuff. And so I got that all out of there. And I'll run the uh, chicken fence. Let's see. To the left of this tree. And then I'm out here in the lane. So I'll just run it to like where the hose is and then along there and I'll probably get that tree next to the bucket in the fencing and then that tree down there and then I'll cut back over and so yeah that'll be a nice different little chicken run for him. And I really want to go take a nap, but I don't want to be asleep when the fence comes. So I'm just going to start to put stuff up. And tomorrow's trash day, so I will probably uh, pick up a few more things tonight also. Uh, but other than that, I think that's going to be it. I hope everybody's having a good week. Today is Thursday. I uh, hope you're having a good weekend. This might not come out till Saturday, knowing me. Uh, but yeah, hope everybody is taking it easier than I am. <laughs> Later, folks. Perfect timing. Thank you, Premier One. I ordered that Monday night. And so they shipped it Tuesday and today's Thursday, and I got it. And I didn't pay any extra for shipping or anything, so. Cool. Got another electric fence. Peer pressure, man. I had my sweatpants on, changed shirts, I just finally uh, dried off, and he stops by and he's like, light it on fire, just light it on fire. All right, but I ain't got no gas or nothing. Well, just do what you can. Oh man, 
All right, well, that's cool. Looks like I'm babysitting up another brush fire for a little while. Well, and, and hanging out with the cows. Number 23 over there. I like number 23. Number 23 is a good number. You almost let me touch you. You did. You almost let me touch you. Oh. And my, yeah, I had the camera in my room and I brought it out and it's fogging up. So, okay. But yeah, all kinds of cows. Hey, cows. And back to babysitting a brush fire.